so this is a variation of a doji which is known as gravestone doji right and again as i mentioned lot of the terminology of uh, candlestick charting is derived from war so when lot of soldiers used to die and get wounded and then they need to put them in the grave uh, that signifies a uh, equivalence for the gravestone doji so here there is a intuitive uh, picture which i have put it basically it looks similar to grave right if you see this and ignore this part the middle part it basically looks like a grave if if this is the gravestone it pretty much looks like this right so this is how it derived and basically what it signifies if you just understand in terms of the market movement what happened so it opened here right it opened here during the day it like went far up made a high right and then basically the bears took over the control and so much powerful bearish control that it ended almost same as the open price right so the open close and the low of the day was almost the same right again there is no hard and fast rule that it should be all equal if there is like small real body at the bottom it still qualifies to be said as gravestone doji but the underlying idea is basically that bulls were in full force bulls were during the full force during the intraday so probably it started at 100 it went till say 120 were in full force nobody was there to stop them and suddenly bears came in butchered them during the day and then defeated and every bull which raised its hand took the entry everyone were butchered everyone were in the loss and they ended up in the grave right so this represents a day where lot of bulls died during the day because they have suffered in the losses and they were put in the grave right and bulls were bears were like very very heavy on the bulls they butchered the bulls like anything right so the significance again comes when you see these kind of signals at the peak of the rally so the price is moving up and suddenly you see a signal of gravestone doji that means that the new high which the trend is making the bears are not very happy with it and they are feeling that it's extremely overvalued situation and they aggressively sell because they are so so confident about that price that this is like a very high price for the security now let's attack the bulls right and the bulls are so much taken by surprise because they were in full force they were in full confidence moods during the day and then suddenly everyone gets killed so they become extremely cautious and next day basically all bull starts thinking that whether i am right or wrong whether i should take a long position or not so it's very very cautious situation for bulls on the next day also right so this is what is a gravestone doji it is very very powerful when it occurs at the end of the uptrend so basically when it is the uptrend is in full force and if it is ending with a gravestone doji that is of very very high significance if it occurs during the downtrend it's not much significant because in downtrend any which ways the bears are in full control and that doesn't mean much about the market it is just that bears are, bulls are still not able to capture and not for, able to form the bottom but it in the downtrend doesn't signify much but in the uptrend it is very very significant particularly when a uh, stock is forming all time high or a new 52 week high all right so it's at least the situation of alert right cautious signal so that's why the power meter shows like a 50% so it's not a full fledged very high uh, probability a power uh, pattern but it's a medium power pattern which is significant in terms of cautious net but it doesn't uh, involve taking action from our side so this is a, a example of rain industry and uh, just to show how powerful are the gravestone dojis and how they impact if you see here it was a very very big uptrend and we know a lot of powerful investors got into this uh, particular company and the euphoria was there 
and probably it was a kind of 10 beggar plus i think it moved from like 30 it was a range bound for many years due to commodity cycle and then it picked up its uptrend right and bulls were, were were very very in force and if you see there was just one doji here but otherwise the candles were like pretty much all of them were green right so it was in full force the uptrend was in full force it was with increasing volume as you can see right we discussed that the trend and volume if they are confirming each other but look at here it made a new all time high and it formed a gravestone doji almost a gravestone doji it's not a perfect where the open and high uh, open low and uh, close are same but at least there is very very small real body this followed by a high wave or kind of spinning top again kind of doji where there was indecision and then you can see the bears completely took over the control and by the way if you see this is a monthly chart right so as i told the monthly chart is very very powerful and intuitive if you want to understand the trends so this is a long term chart of like 7 years this is not a daily chart it's a monthly chart right and it clearly shows that at this point there was clear indecision and there was no consensus whether it should go up or down for two months there was no consensus and when it fall again it started falling with the higher volume which signified that the downtrend has probably started and bears at least it looks like temporary they have taken the control right so it was very very powerful at all time high so when these kind of signals occurs at all time high followed by a very very strong uptrend something like this which is like a 10 bagger thanks for watching do share and subscribe the video channel